And then there's the rugby. Yeah. It's, yeah, oh, that's all I've got. It's a sport. My generation, we all play. We all playing for football clubs, you know. And then yeah. we either didn't make it or didn't matter. So I um I played up until I was 16 with Wolves, mm. and then they said we don't think you're good enough for an apprentice, but we don't think we want to get rid of you. So they put me on a non-contract for a year, yeah. and that's when I, I thought, well, man, I'm gonna, I may as well just stay in the sixth form. Yeah. So I just and that, I, I lost interest because I wasn't training as much, wasn't yeah. getting as fit, and wasn't able to compete. And that's what kind of led me then away to taking the ideas much more seriously because it was either going to be football or it was going to be, I wanted to be a PE teacher because I like sport. I started studying theology and thought, well, actually, there, there's more in this, you know? Welcome back to the We Are Tearfront channel. My name is Robert Beckford. My day job, I am an academic, which means I teach in a university and I teach religious studies and theology. As well as that, I'm a broadcaster and many people know me when I was uh, younger and prettier. And I used to make television programs for BBC Channel 4 and Discovery USA. Why is justice central to the biblical tradition for two reasons. There are two major things that happen in the Bible which are all concerned with justice. The first thing is the deliverance of the Hebrews from bondage in Egypt. And so in the book of Exodus, cut a long story short, the Hebrews are in Egypt, they're suffering oppression, they're being brutalized, they pray to God, God sends Moses and Moses delivers them. Why is that important? Because it demonstrates that God is a God who intervenes in human history to free people from bondage. And in that case, their bondage was physical bondage, economic bondage, and political bondage. It shows that God is a God who is concerned with the political and the social world out there. And therefore, if we serve God, we've also got to be concerned and engaged with those issues. The second issue, second major theme within the Bible is the coming of Jesus. And God could have sent Jesus anywhere at any point in human history. Could have sent Jesus to play for Tottenham Hotspur. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Not Tottenham Hotspur, no, those would be Arsenal, for sure. for sure. Could have sent Son of God at any point, at any time in human history to come and redeem humanity. God decided to send Jesus to be a colonized person, a Jew suffering under Roman oppression. That's what Jesus was. He was um, ethnically a Jew being colonized by the Romans. So God is telling us something important about sending Jesus at that moment. Whose side is God on? God is on the side of the oppressed against the oppressor, the people doing the wrongdoing. And just by the virtue of sending Jesus at that moment, in that consequence situation, God was telling us something about who God is. God is a God who sides with those who are marginal, who are oppressed, and seeks to redeem them and transform them in the way that Jesus did. So the two defining themes of the Bible, the Exodus narrative, the incarnation of Jesus, are both seeped in traditions of justice and God's justice for humanity. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and invite your friends and your family to do so. Bye.